Today we are playing Legend of the Conquerors. So this is the legacy part of Catan. You do need the Cities and Knights expansion for this one. So this is chapter two. Uh, we've already played chapter one, so check out that video. My favorite. I love this one. How about you guys? Do you guys like this one? Yeah. 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 That's pretty fun. So in chapter two, you're going to need some of the same things that you needed for chapter one. Make sure uh, cameraman zoom in on these pieces as I point. Uh, you will need the barbarian track uh, specific to chapter two. Other things that you're going to need different, the conquerors, you will only need strengths three through six. So no twos in this ones or ones. Mm. There are actual harbors, not the land trading stations. And there is grapes, which represent wine. Those go on the board when you set up. So we'll show you that during the setup. Amber, again, which we'll show you during the setup. These are battle cards. They're like progress cards. So they count towards your limit of five progress cards. Again, you're going to need the special blue ones for this, not the ones that come with Cities and Knights. The battle cards, they're just special ones and they are purchased with wine and amber. What else is different? Make sure you have your chapter two cards to help you out. And over here, there are cannons and horses, or horsies. So the cannons and the horses, they, each player has one, and they are placed on the horse stable. And this one here, I can't remember the name of it, but this piece here. So it just shows you how much it costs so to build the cannon, it costs one wood, one ore. To build the horse, the horse the, from the horse stable, it's one wood and one wheat. Okay. When you place those cannons and horses, they are attached to your knights. And they give your knights extra power. So if you attach a cannon to your knight, placing it on the board. It gives your knight one extra strength, so that helps defeat the conquerors. Okay. And if you, here's the horse, that's what he looks like. When the horse is attached to your knight, it allows your knight to jump from one road segment to another, any, actually any unoccupied intersection on the board. We will show you more in detail during our turns for those two. But yeah, they are they kind of help out the knights. It's kind of cool. When it's on the board, you flip this part over. And it just kind of tells you what they do and how much it costs. Okay. And I think that's everything that is new. Uh, just notice that the board, the barbarian board, has these cards and that is only the time that's the only time that you can actually purchase those and then it has the wine and the amber as well if you when the barbarian lands there you get an extra piece of wine or amber depending on where the barbarian landed so you know what let's set up and then we can kind of show you what the setup board looks like okay so this is how the board is set up in front of you, you have your horse on the stable. Cameraman can zoom in on this. And the cannon on your masonry. I think that's what it's called. I can. I don't want to spend the time to look it up. But yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Foundry. It's right there beside me. It's a foundry. Okay, so cannon on the foundry. Horse on the stable. Remember, the flip charts, they only go up to level 3. Because there's no... What are those things called? 
Um, Metropoli, Metropoli, Metropolises. Okay. Eh. Amber. So Amber is received. Remember, that is used to buy the battle cards. Battle cards are worth one wine and one amber. Okay. To get the amber, you must build a road to touch the amber and or a settlement on the amber. Okay. So once that happens, the amber is yours, add it to your collection. Okay. The wine is collected if you have a city and only a city on that number if that number is rolled you get one brick and one wine okay once the wine is depleted from that hex you would get two brick again and yeah, put that back over here everything else is pretty much the same the two cards in front of you, the end of the chapter. So again, it can end in three different ways. In defeat, if the conquerors are on five numbered hexes, you lose. You win if the barbarian, point that out Lily, gets to the bottom, then we win. Or an early victory if somebody reaches 14 victory points, so that's a higher number than Chapter 1, trying to get to 14. The events that are on the Barbarian track, Lily's going to point to them as I talk about them. So the Axe, that's your normal Barbarian raid. Just like in Cities and Knights when they come and attack and Cities versus Knights and when... That's pretty basic. The flag with the number on it, right there, that is, so if it lands and there's a three on that flag, these lovely conquerors, remember they come out and they go on to these spaces here. Okay. The die with the swords. Lily will point to that one. If it's green, you start at one end. If it's red, you start at the other. So. Just to make it simple, if it's a green die, we're going to start by moving this barbarian first and move our way up. Red, we would start up there, go right down. Remember the die, that's when you roll this one to see which direction the conquerors are going to move in. One hex at a time, you roll it, roll this once for each conqueror and move it in the direction of this directional one here. We'll play through a couple of rounds, but this is the same from chapter one. So the two new spots are the barbari uh, barbarian, barbarian, uh, these cards here. When the barbarian lands on that symbol, you have a chance to purchase up to two of these. These help you defeat the conquerors. They count as progress cards. You cannot have more than five progress cards in your hand. So keep that in mind. And like I said before, to purchase these, it costs one amber and one wine to purchase that. Up to two every time the barbarian lands there. And the last symbol on the track is the wine and the amber. So if you land there, you just get a free wine or amber from the main supply. We are using the longest road as well as the harbor master. You don't have to use the harbor master, we just are. Let's take these guys off, they haven't landed yet. To start the game, you place two settlements, a city and a city wall, and an inactive basic knight. So the kids are going to place first, so we'll watch them, you know what, we're not going to watch, let's speed this up, because sometimes it takes us a while to place. If they do place, first, number one, the first settlement has to be placed, remember, on one of these starters. After that, if you build a 
settlement or a city on the amber, it's yours right away. Okay, so you start collecting as soon as you're placing. Not the wine, just the amber. I have a wood and a wheat, so I get to build my horse. And I'm going to attach it. I only have one knight. There it goes. So once you do that, you take this token and you flip it over and it explains how to use your horse. So if I wanted to move my horse to another knight, I can do that. It just costs me one wheat. Okay. And then on the top part of it, if you can zoom in there, it shows you that what it does. So you can move to an empty intersection. Okay. Okay, Lily, can you move that barbarian? <coughs> so remember the flag with the three on it just means that the conquerors landed. Okay, they won't move in until we get to a die. Is it your, what are you guys doing? Building a cannon. You're building a cannon? Let's see, he goes over here. So, again, when you build your cannon, flip over your foundry and it'll show you and i'll show you here so again you can switch which knight you have your cannon on it just costs one wood and on the top the benefit is it strengthens that knight by one uh will anyone give us a sheep i'll give you a I'll give you two so their knight here is now worth three has a strength of three Nice. Does anyone have a sheep or gold? Ooh. Amber. I don't need any more amber. I like the deal though. Uh is is it is the game three to one? It is three to okay. one, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, just now like I chapter have more one. Than them. Just like chapter one, it is a base trade of three to one. Mm -hmm. Where are you placing that? Here? Okay. Okay. Okay, I think Dad can go now. Roll? Yep. Hmm? A seven and a barbarian. So the barbarian does not move. Remember, that's the rule in this one. If you roll a seven, the barbarian doesn't move. Do There's no robber. Steal. You don't steal. You just, if Lose anybody... your hand limit. Everybody should have a hand limit of nine. Yes, everybody has because we wall. have the city walls. Yep. Okay, let's build that city I was talking about. That's not a rock if I can get it. That's a rock. Okay. While he's building, I'm going to go ahead and roll to keep the game going. Eleven and a barbarian. Go ahead and move that barbarian, Lily. We'll deal with that as soon as we collect. Eleven, everyone. I don't have any elevens. Okay, so the barbarian landed on a die. What color is that die? Green. So we're going to start down here. Which way are we moving? Red. So this one, if you look here, the red sword is faced this way. So he's going to move. I guess it should probably be here. I don't know. Here. No, here. That's right. Here. But he can't. So you go in a clockwise position to there. Where's this guy going? I think they're all just going to go. So can't. I think they're just all going to move in here. Oh, this one might work. Red. Red, down. Perfect. Okay. So that is how you do the die. All right. Oh, it's my turn. Have a guess. Seven. seven barbarian. Okay, so don't move the barbarian. It's just a seven. Does anybody have to get rid of their hand? Nope. Are you guys doing anything? Okay, pass the dice. <clears throat> I 
Another <coughs> seven. Okay. Green. Five. Are you doing anything? Um, no. No. It's a six with a barbarian. Go ahead and move that barbarian. We'll touch on that right away, but it is a six. And the Barbarian, what does it look, what did it land on there, Lily? Um, wine. Wine. So everybody gets one wine from the main supply. There you go. And am I doing anything? Yes, I am going to improve that one. And I'm going to build and activate a knight. Kids. I promise it's not only me that ever talks when we play games. They just don't like the camera. What'd you roll? Nine. Nine. Ooh, more wine. You guys doing anything? I don't know. You don't know. What are you doing, Lily? Um, buying a knight. Seven barbarian. Barbarian. Nope, not oh. a sevens. Okay, sorry. Okay, we're rolling a lot of seven barbarians here, so nothing's really happening. Nine barbarian. Go ahead and move that barbarian. We'll deal with our nines. More wheat and wine. Okay, so. Barbarian moved. Can you move the, yeah, just show us there. So it is these cards here. Remember, they're like progress cards. So whose turn is it? Mine. I get first dibs. I can buy up to two. So I'm going to one, two. I am buying two cards. One, two. Kids. How many in how many are you buying? And they look just like progress cards. Let's do a little bit extra stuff. How many cards are you buying? Oh yeah, kids, do you want any of these? Love you, easy four. So that's yep, the amber and the wine. That's how you purchase these. They're worth one Finish. amber and one wine. Buying one. Just one? Yep. There you go. Okay, Dad? What are you doing? You, do you want one of these? May I purchase them? Yep. Yeah, that's good. That's a good answer. Okay. Yep. Into the supply. And it is the kids' turn. And what else do we have on here? Did we do everything? Yeah, so we're gonna speed up play because we kind of showed you how to collect the wine, collect the amber. Moving the knights with the horses is kind of complicated at first. It, they don't do a great job in the instruction book explaining it, but basically, oh, if you've ever played Take an Oakle, that's kind of how I look at it. Just straight across, empty intersection, but you can move from road to road. And the cannon ups your knight strength. So if you're still a little bit confused, go back to chapter one because that it's very similar to that one. All right, so we're gonna speed up play. Let's see who wins. And that's game. I don't know if he placed it, but dad won with the, you did place it over there. Okay, so he just built a settlement here. Um. Good game. I like the idea of the cannon and the horse. The horse is still kind of complicated. Like trying to move the knight with the horse, there were arguments. and It's not really laid clear. out clear in the instructions. It's really not. But I did like the addition of the cannon. Um, Dad reached 14 points right before we were kind of... We, we would have lost the next time the conquerors moved in. 
most likely. But besides the confusion of the horse, I think I still give it a thumbs up. How about you guys? Yeah. Yeah? Dad? Any, any Catan. Yeah. Good. We love Catan. Okay. So that's it. That's game. Keep playing and have fun.